Nice. All right, so we got the uh, all the crystals. Let's see how many points we get. Skill points. That's big time. Three thirty. I think this randomly attack me. Out of here. We good? Get out of conflict. Then bring it, you big. I'm kind of impressed. Good now. <laughs> Get out of here. Come, settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a meat of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this meat, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? I don't think so. They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. A little bit of main story stuff. Can't hurt. I'm gonna get that bear eventually. See how this goes. It seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn Beerstan. His household is as poorly run as his Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Beerstan, the elderman of the Shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Oh. Beerstan, his household is as poorly run as his land. There's There's the stairs at. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sour. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife. It's a cool hairdo. It's a poof. She's got a poof. You, 
gods will come at one cry from me. Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my mm -hmm. lord is not at home. Got it. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He's stalking <laughs> the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. Yep. Right, let's go see what's going on. Ooh, arrows. Oh, a goodly soul. Wait. Give me a ruin for doing that? Hang on. What ruin was that? Chain Fury Soul. Hang on. The bigger it's the uh what the triangular shaped one? The square shaped ones? No, it's this one. It's this one. Increase attack after each hit up to 10 times. I th think I have that. Do I want to do that with the bow or do I want to do that? I feel like I want to do that with like a fast weapon. Yeah. If I did it. Sure the Elderman's house is going to come into play eventually. Go, Sudan. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. Caught off guard as they supped. Take those arrows. They were attacked by a beast, something strong enough to kill the horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. It's a big paw print. Hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Biestan still lives. I need your eyes. Yeah, that was gonna be my guess because the paw prints over here. Gotta be a third, right? I would not have survived this ambush without you. Hey, there you are. You there have you my are. gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. That guy looks pretty Perhaps cool, actually. God sent. I'm Estrid Send. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex <laughs> both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. <laughs> when do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. 
and make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I'm Norse, a no-coin groveler. Intriguing. We Saxons hear only that Danes and Norse are ferocious barbarians, all teeth and claws, with little subtlety or wit. But ho! Are you the Norse I sent word to? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your thanes in check. Oh, they love her. It is... I don't know why there's a random dude just hanging out on the quest line, but. I should be seeing it. But it's... Seriously? Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow. My eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. So we're gonna make her uh, elderman? The crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Beston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the f Harrison Ford? Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Hmm. Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Alfred will get bored soon enough. He has bigger pikes to bake than are to be found in this stolid backwater. Alfred's forces are only here because of Estrid's failed kidnap. Now that she is safe, they will soon be gone. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? He should put his own ham fist in his purse, and contribute coin to the festival. Yes. You worry 
about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own coin, then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Refuse to send your men. Let Alfred's people die for his hopeless cause against the Norse. Then we refuse. Refuse our king? Has madness taken your wits, Beerston? There. Have I not answered all your questions? Uh, we'll play it out. We'll see how that goes. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. Ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of Thumbs. A firm hand is all you need, Beerston. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of I don't think... makes me long for the woods. I don't think the I was gonna please them no matter what. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! She does as she must. As do I. But you will discover this soon enough. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We will have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Then what is stopping you? Your King Alfred? Ours was not a union of love, but necessity. Decreed by Alfred's father to strengthen ties with Frankia. Not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We have a plan, <laughs> a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. Sure. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship. With a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market table. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. <laughs> my wife is a gracious and attentive host, Abel. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Ulverden, my childhood sweetheart. I left her 20 years ago. What's up, twin? To marry my Cyberpunk later? Um, 20 okay. years. Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her. Bring her to my lakeside cottage and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Molden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, okay. should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Um, I didn't. I think the people playing it got it early. Flynn for Cyberpunk. Um, if I'm not mistaken, play.
Okay. Hmm. I'll take a look after I'm done with this. Uh, I might come back later then. I know some people obviously like bigger, bigger streamers got it early and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll take a look. Um, and then we'll see. I don't... <clears throat> excuse me. The reason I don't typically like doing, like, multiple big games at a time is that if one game is more interesting than the other, then, like, when I go back and play the other game that's less interesting, my mind is on the on the game that's more interesting. And it's like... And then I'm not enjoying it as much, if that makes sense. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so there's Childhood Sweetheart. I mean, we could go talk to the lady in the market first. Right here. I'll take a look, though. This place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. How you doing today, though, man? How's your day going? There you are, Abel. Over here. I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? Still need to eat and You've do lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. You speak with some sadness. <coughs> Has your time here always been tragic? There have been tears, but also great passions. Love, foolishness, regret. Yet, is that <clears throat> not all lives? The best lived of them? And what of our plan, the great Lama's kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest. Full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one. And her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. I was there. I saw this captain, oh. who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon. Oh. A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah, it must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome. And cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky. Youthful Barado, yeah. Who carry yeah. Our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part of course he's at the best the... of terms. I'll bring him round. By force of persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lama's festival. Of course he's a, uh, you know, he's there. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Did not lie, you have fire. Athletic AF. <laughs> Dear friend, I'm Abel of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. 
Then you must forgive uh, guys? Saxons knew about my camp. Guys. Mind drug to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Mm. Follow me or come when you can. I don't think so. Behave yourself. Alright, so now what do we gotta do? We gotta go meet up with this guy and then go do the other one, right? Oh, okay, so this one's over here. Let's make my way out of here. Uh, I was watching some cyberpunk gameplay earlier and the cutscene I saw a car whip around three corners in a car garage like a hundred miles an hour it's very odd yeah I heard the driving was a little uh funky I watched like a brief review and people were talking about like on mouse and keyboard uh the driving was a little like um f someone said floaty in a way so hopefully they tune that up a little bit but um Maybe we'll do a little bit tonight. Um, I didn't know that it was getting released tonight. I thought it was tomorrow, and then I was going to play it on Friday. Um, typically what I do is I try to get everything put up on YouTube, but I already had a crash in this game, so that means I'm going to have to edit one of the videos. Normally what I do is I record to the hard drive, and then I'll export it, and then I'll put it on the other computer, and then put it to YouTube. Um... But unfortunately, I'm going to have to put something into Sony Vegas and edit it super quick. And then render it out, which takes like two and a half hours. That's the only downside. Oh, and a cutscene. Oh, my bad. I missed the word cutscene. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I understand now. <laughs> like the Flash was carrying it. <laughs> Also, I haven't forgotten about Godfall. It's just there's been so many, like I said, there's been so many games that have kind of come out t uh, closely to each other that it's been really hard to get, get around to everything. And I don't stream for like 10 hour days, so. You basically forgot about Godfall? I mean, I want to give it a shot. Uh, I just hope it's not like bad. Oh jeez. I fear. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. Do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rolo. Gerhild, is it? Aye. Rolo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him? Uh, you betrayed him. <laughs> you weren't here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. Yeah, There's true that. game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Dude, her head's about to twist off. See how she's going like that's creepy. Um, tell me about Rolo. Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Huh? Our people deserve better. I hear envy. But of Estrid or Rolo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could play music on Twitch because I'm thinking of something really funny to add. <laughs> That's all for now. To add to this. Oh man. Nordic, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? Him too. I'm 
bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting, and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. He was tired of battle. I'll feast in Odin's hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. Hmm. I have what I need for now. When you were drinking and pouring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Akhail. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. What am I? Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. No need to hunt when the camp is full of fresh kills. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. Well, they might find some evidence to test their stories. Yeah. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. Huh. Okay. So both their stories don't really add up. Did I question them again, maybe? Gerhild, can we speak again? Lord accused you of treachery. He saw you with a Saxon. Lork? Do you believe that old crow? His body yeah, that's what I'm saying, Twin. Wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. You're lying. I found racks and racks of game. You've got more wit than your face suggests. I went to meet a lad from a nearby village. Rolo's not the only one who dallies with locals. That doesn't mean that she betrayed him, though. Right? Like, she just went away from the camp. But she lied about hunting, which was weird. That's all for now. Lorg. You're lying. I found a rack full of game nearby. Enough to feed the camp for days. Told you. I was hunting. Stick to that story, and I'll tell Rolo to take your treacherous head. I was sleeping in the forest, wasn't I? Heard Saxons tramping through the tree, so I hid. Not fool enough to face him on my own. So then either was I responsible? Have what I, need for now. I don't think either of them were responsible then in that case, right? Have you made your decision? Oh, it's what you learned from them. Okay, you should, uh, you should really separate them. Yeah. <laughs> no. Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lorg did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Okay. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lark saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. I did not think her a hypocrite. Lark said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail. But he served my father well. 
I would have freed him without bloodshed. This man knew the Saxons were coming and hit. He was either in league with them or a coward. A sad fall for a great warrior no longer in his prime. It's a tough call, I feel. What do you guys? What do you guys think? You guys think it's the old man? Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Get rid of them both. We can't do that. I think it's the old guy. Lord betrayed you. Lies he... and curse you, boy, for letting this outsider sway your heart. A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. Wait, did you, Tlin, do you actually know the answer? Is it the, my father is it the chick? But he always thought me a callow lackbeard. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. Oh, this is the, uh... I told you I was loyal. How dare you doubt me? Forgive me, Geralt. But even now, there are some who will. You should make yourself scarce for a while. I've heard of a sacred place in this south of Colchester. I'm oh, not being able to kill both. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Probably have to go talk to the other guy soon, don't we? Oh. Whatever. I wonder if we kill the woman, if the woman happens to be in, like, that guy's love interest. Uh, the one that we have to go, you know. Find rescue Danes. Okay. Gonna be a big thing. They have an attack on the side here. Yeah, well, so will I. <laughs> Just typical AC guards. Throw it, I dare you. You know what? Here, hold that. That guy found out the, the bell wasn't working. Okay, here we go. Come here. You want some of this? Here, have your hammer back. Yeah, I already forgot to. They weren't that interesting of characters. We got a free Danes here. Those men, caged like plump hens. Uh, can you move? No? Alright, I'm just gonna send one. Where is he? I am playing this on hard, by the way, guys. I know it doesn't look it, but I am. Just because I, 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 like, out-level everybody here. Freedom. Thank you. Anybody else we gotta find? Alright, whatever. I'll go look around. There's one. And did he just lose health and then get health back? I swear I just saw that. Was that well, am I seeing stuff? Oh. 
Uh, the, well, I mean, that, that sounds to me that I chose wrong. That sounds to me like I chose wrong. Rip proper question asking. You can't save it. You can't, you know, save them all. I guess, yeah, technically I did screw up because she said she was hunting, but then she backed it up saying, like... Lolo's men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. You're good. That guy's dead, actually. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. <laughs> Dude, that, oh, that boat's gonna go flying. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted in this. Whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester on the night of the Lammas Festival. Uh, this, I, uh, this, I think here I can do the other part finally. One thing I was saying earlier was that uh, the respawns for the enemy is like exceptionally high. I got double the skill points. Sweet. He also uh, he also cast doubt on her story about the me meeting a Saxon, saying she uh, saying she's always held disdain for them. Interesting. You mean you mean the uh, the the um, the captain, right? That's who you're talking about. When I went back to the captain, talking to him, yeah, it was a little confusing. If that's what you mean, Len. Hmm. Yeah, it was it was a little like double talky. That's why I got confused by it. Ah, whatever. I just hope he doesn't. She doesn't kill the lady because she's a you know super jealous person. I mean, I realistically, what I could have done is I could have just you know, um, I guess what I could have done was I could have like went back and just chose the right person but i feel like that's cheating like me you know like the the decisions you make you gotta stick with them Saves coming. I mean, I know there's people who do it because they want to play it a certain way, but I mean, I'm
I guess it's just how you feel about the game that you're playing, right? Well, all of it, I remember a lover from so long ago. Some people just accept it, though. They're just like, ah, whatever. I've done it if it's like, I've done it before. I can't say I haven't done it. I've done it before if it's like catastrophic to the game. Like if it really ruins the game, then I'll re I'll reload something. But if it's just like a trivial kind of thing, like, oh, that person's not essential to the game or something like that, then I'm not going to do it. Where was I? Where, where is this, rather? Oh, I gotta light a brazier, right? That's what he said? Sure, that's what he said. Oh god, okay, we're fine. But that I doubt. Yeah, I, ho I hope she doesn't do anything like super nefarious, like kill the lady. That'd be bad. It's not down there, right? It's above. Wait, no. Find and speak to Alfida. Alfida, where are you at? Survey the area, Sudan. Oh, what do you want, dude? Sure. We'll go with two heavy axes, not splitting wood. Yeah, sure. Man, that that must have been his sixth or even seventh sense to detect that. Oh, you want some? What's up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Where are we at here? Last house in Molden. Olvida should be here. A second bed. Olvida doesn't live alone. Got a stew on. Someone was interrupted preparing the supper. Taken. Or fled. Built a pail of water. Someone was in a hurry. Seriously? I'm not in the mood. Trying to go against the grain isn't gonna work without a saw. I mean, it would. Be, warmonger. You have my sister. Is that not enough? Peace, boy. Who has a sister? I came to speak with your sister. That's all. I did kill all of the men, to be fair. Here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Why did they take your sister? Some of Alfred's men beat a child of the village for stealing bread. Jesus. My sister would not stand by and see injustice done. Do yeah. you know where they're holding Olvida? Yeah. Yet another stay at the king's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll um, bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. Cheap. <laughs> 